there's good news tonight about the healing power of music and the inspiring gift one girl is giving to other kids with cancer. Already an accomplished musician, she was in her orchestra class when she knew something just wasn't right. Tell me about last May. What was that day? And I just felt in my arm that it was really sore, and I was like, that's really weird because, like, why is this hurting? Tests revealed a diagnosis that turned her world upside down, leukemia. Sophie's recovery uplifting for staff, too. And when you get to see that it was worth it, that even if one person is able to go on, live a long, prosperous, peaceful life, it just really makes it worthwhile. Middle school students are listing all the mass shootings that have taken place in the United States since the Columbine tragedy in 1999, years before they were born. The student magazine called First Shot takes aim at making changes to prevent more of these shootings. Editorials, poems and letters, pictures of the victims, and with support from the Education Fund, taking their publication straight to lawmakers. The goal of the trip is is to be able to engage our elected officials civilly and respectfully with the facts. From a coping mechanism to civic engagement with the hope of making a change. It's a day to celebrate at Miami Southridge High School. ESPN is honoring the school as one of just five Special Olympics champion schools from around the country. It hits me harder than I even expected. To be in a school in a place where it's the norm, that nobody thinks about the differences and uses them against anybody, this is, this is what you want the world to look like. En esta clase de preescolar, los niños se preparan para el kinder. Which one rides with Estudian en la primaria Twin Lakes Elementary en Hialeah, una de más de 200 escuelas públicas de Miami-Dade que participa en el programa de pre-kinder voluntario o VPK. Este es el tiempo crítico de tomar la decisión de, por favor, matricular a su hijo o hija en un uh, programa que va a ayudarlos a progresar en la vida. Todas las solicitudes para el VPK deben de ser entregadas antes del día de la lotería, que es el 28 de febrero. Well, tomorrow night, Miami-Dade County Public Schools will announce its Teacher of the Year. And I love this because the winner gets a new car and prices recognition. And they should. <laughs> Education on Six reporter Ari Adzer introduces us to the nominees, including one who teaches behind bars. It's anything but a traditional school setting. By choice, Denise White teaches the kids inside the juvenile detention center. Education and learning can happen. Understanding debits and credits. Yolette Mezidu is teaching at her alma mater, Edison Senior High. My reward comes in to seeing them graduate, to seeing them become productive citizens. Candace Morris teaches at Goulds Elementary. I really feel like I was born um, kind of just knowing that what I wanted to do was going to shape and impact uh, young minds. 27 year veteran Teresa Murphy also would prefer to be in the classroom at Spanish Lake Elementary, but she's teaching from home now because she's undergoing radiation and chemotherapy for cancer. 20 years later, the kids come back, you know, or they message you or they find you and they tell you something you've said that you've thought. Like maybe you haven't even remembered you said it right. You're humbled by the words and you realize that just that 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 little thing made, made such a difference. 